What's up, guys? It's Khalif, Fat Guy Skinny Wallet. All right, um, I'm going to make this quick. I just want to talk talk to you real quick about how my week went, you know, trying to get healthy and everything, and also preparing for Sherry Ann's surgery. Um, I think overall it was a good week. There was, like, months where we didn't have anything in the house, so I had to eat out. Um, I, I just don't even remember what I did. <laughs> oh, I think I think I went to Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, and just grab something and, get, and brought it back because they're like right around the corner. Um, that that was the main reason. It was just the what's the most convenient thing I can get because this week really it's been working and then doing stuff for our church and then trying to prepare uh, for the surgery, preparing the house for it, making sure we had certain things in it, talking to a lot of people and letting them know who probably didn't know since it came up so quickly. Um, so anyway, there was that. I've been really trying to do some mobility stuff to try to work on my lower back um yeah it's, it's just been it's been rough um that started back in like 2013 it's 2018 now and i'm still dealing with these issues um if nobody remembers so i'll just start. i have compartment syndrome in both legs both shins so i am not able to run at all or jog or anything like that i can't even sprint um i was told by three different doctors that the only way to correct it would be surgery um and the only thing it really impacts is running and those types of uh, exercises where there's a lot of blood flow to uh, my legs so it impacts that that's about it because of the back issues i can't do many um exercises in the gym as for, you know as far as weight training and things like that so it seems like the things that really got me physically got me to the place where i was losing weight and I was feeling strong are both restricted right now so I just have to find new ways so first what I'm doing is just trying to work on routines where I can work on uh, flexibility mobility especially with my lower body um, then um, doing some of the physical therapy exercises they have me doing to strengthen my core and then some upper body uh, flexibility mobility stuff first and and once I get used to doing those things as a routine and finally, if I still have time, then I'm going to try to add some basic weight training with dumbbells um, and go from there. So, and, and do very light cardio in the beginning just because of my living situation and everything else. It's very difficult living on top of somebody um, to do certain things that I was doing before. Um, so, yeah, that's that's really where I'm at now. I, I feel good about the direction I'm going in. I got in a couple really good walks. Um, this week, so um, that that was something that was on my list of things that okay, I have to do. I have to make sure I get these things in. Yeah, walking is like boring, but you know what? It's better than sitting around wishing I was active. So, trying to do that stuff now. It's getting dark, so I'm gonna have to cut this camera off in a minute. Um, I'm actually going to pick up Sherry Ann from the hospital. I was just I actually got in the car, and Sherry Ann since she wrote me and said, "Hey, they're gonna let me home today. Go home today." So. Um, that's it. I was feeling horrible all day today. And um, if you follow me on Instagram, you have known today is Sunday, by the way, that you've seen that all my posts that I usually do daily will go up really late. I actually haven't done them yet. It's like 5 o'clock. So um, those things are going up late. But uh, make sure you follow me over there because, like I said, I do post a lot, posting more updates about even about Sherry Ann, but even our day to day stuff, posting a lot of things. Still trying to work on sleep as well. Those are the two big things. All the stuff I just mentioned and sleep. Those are the two biggest things first before I get into a serious exercise routine. I want to make sure I have those things down and build on the basics um, rather than just trying to be all gung-ho. You know, this is a long-term thing, and I want to be healthy healthy for the rest of my life and also want to do it in a way that I'm, I can continue to build on and also want to do it in a way where we're being wise financially. Um, because I can try to do some things and be very aggressive and spend a lot of money. So I'd rather do things um, understanding that we have over $100,000 in debt and, and trying to take care of that as well because those are our two biggest issues um, is our health and our well, physical health and financial health. And obviously spiritual health is number one. So I guess those things are two and three. All right, guys, let me go before I start getting mixed up with counting. I went to public school, so I ain't going to try to do that here. And I'll talk to you guys later, and I want to thank you all for your support as well.